As some of you know, I'm moving next month. I'm moving out of my childhood home that I've lived in since I was five years old. I got my first big girl apartment, and while I'm so excited, I'm also very stressed out because if you know me, I am not a minimalist. You could actually probably call me a maximalist, if that's even a word. I'm a little bit of a hoarder, and in order for me to move comfortably, I have a lot of decluttering to do. And today we are starting off with my very unorganized vanity that contains all of my skincare and makeup. There's old products, there's expired products, there's products that I haven't touched in years. So follow along with me in this video to see me get rid of tons of products and take my drawers from this to this. I have so much to do and honestly my vanity and my makeup and my skincare and then like my clothes are the thing that I'm most worried about when it comes to moving. I just have way way too much. I'm gonna try to be extremely cutthroat when I choose what products I'm going to keep and get rid of today because the last thing that I want is to move into this fresh new clean place and to bring all of my clutter with me and then just be back into like my cluttered lifestyle. I know that so much of the skincare and makeup that I have in these drawers is expired it's old I don't use it I don't touch it so let me go grab the garbage bags the cardboard boxes and let's start this massive skincare slash makeup decluttering? I don't know. I've never been a huge soda drinker just because my dad has engraved in my mind since I was a little girl that soda is just so bad for you. So I never really drink it. Sometimes like when I go out to eat or something, but Poppy just sent me a bunch of their prebiotic sodas and it's actually funny. I grew up right behind the person that created this. This guy and his wife that like started it and my brother used to be best friends with his little brother. So super cool and I'm so happy for them that this has completely like blown up in the last year and they're actually so good. I can find drink soda without feeling like I'm being unhealthy. <laughs> Alright, so this is probably like the worst my vanity has ever looked. It is actually maybe not. Maybe that's not true, but it's close. It's like a close second if it's not the worst. All of the drawers are so incredibly messy and cluttered and I just, I hate looking at it and when I move into my new apartment, I swear if my drawers end up looking like this, I'm going to be so mad at myself. I feel like if I get rid of all of the stuff that's making it cluttered, it's gonna be impossible to become cluttered in the future hopefully that's my that's my goal so let's just start going through these drawers and getting rid of as much stuff as possible and I'm not just wasting it like I said I believe a lot of this is expired makeup a lot of stuff that I haven't touched in years and you're really only supposed to keep a makeup product for I think like 12 to 18 months is like the normal shelf life once something is opened and some of this stuff has been in here I think since I was in middle school Okay, I grabbed my garbage bag and I'm gonna start with this drawer right here. This is my skincare drawer, I would say. This product is legitimately gone, I think. If I open this, yeah, there's literally like barely anything in here. So this I'm gonna throw away. I feel like this drawer is gonna be where I get rid of the least amount of stuff because most of this is still good and I actually use it all, believe it or not. Or it's like little samples that I haven't even gotten to. So like this, this is pretty much gone. This is definitely expired. I'm using a wet wipe to just wipe down the inside of it and make sure that it's like relatively clean. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure this was white at some point. That's disgusting. This is pretty much gone. I'll use the rest on my hands. <laughs> All right, I think that's everything I'm gonna get rid of. Not a whole lot from this drawer, but there's some stuff. Now to put everything back in here and organize it. This is also pretty much gone. This is empty. This ordinary serum is almost gone, if you can see there, but I wanna make sure that I use the rest of this stuff because I actually really like it. to do here like I can't get it to work okay this is not the most organized drawer but it looks a lot better and I don't want to put too much time into the actual organization part because I'm about to literally pack up all this stuff in less than a month and move to a new place and it's gonna go all like not organized it's gonna get it'll get unorganized because like it'll be moving and I don't know if I'm gonna have to take everything out of the drawers to actually move this vanity so I'm not gonna put too much time into the organization part I'm really just trying to get rid of stuff but this is my skincare drawer now I think it looks a little bit better 
Okay, now this is the drawer where I feel like I'm gonna get rid of the most because I know for a fact all of these foundations and concealers for the most part are expired. I rarely ever wear a foundation or even like a tinted moisturizer. I have a few ones that I do use. I don't know, there's a few that I've bought recently and acquired recently that aren't expired, but I know that some of these, like there's no way that something with that separation is not expired. I guarantee if I open these and like smell them, yeah, they smell bad. Like they literally are rotten. is pretty much gone. Beauty Blender is literally disgusting. These little concealers are so freaking cute. I don't use these, but I don't think I've ever used them. Like this one was still in the packaging and I don't think I've ever used this, but I think this would be really good for bringing on a trip because I, I don't know, they're just so cute and small. So I'm gonna keep those ones. Okay, I think that's it for this drawer. I feel like I got rid of a decent amount out of here. This bottom drawer is all PR, which sounds crazy, and I know it is crazy. I'm not gonna organize this in this video. I just went through all of this and got rid of a bunch of stuff that I don't want, but I'm gonna be doing like a whole separate PR organization before I move. So since this isn't technically like my everyday products or like any, you know what I mean? Like this stuff hasn't been used yet. I'm gonna organize this separately when I do the rest of it because I have a whole bunch more. I'm gonna leave this alone for now and just come back to this later. This drawer is obviously a huge mess. I've just kind of been dumping stuff in here and like when I empty my makeup bag, I just dump it in here and then like I intend to go and sort everything and like put everything back, but then I don't. So this drawer is just a hot mess right now. So I'm gonna go through and take all of these products and put them in the drawers where they belong. This can be thrown away. <laughs> All right, here is everything that's left in the drawer after I cleaned it out. It looks so much better. It's really just like tools and like weird stuff. Like I have a lighter, scotch tape, scissors, these hair clips. I have my tweezers in here. I think I'm gonna end up utilizing this as a second skincare drawer just because the first drawer that I did, my skincare drawer is a little bit cluttered. It feels like it has a lot going on. So I feel like I could definitely use this in a way better way and just like, you know, separate my skincare a little bit. But so far, this is what this drawer looks like. I probably won't move skincare in here until I move and reorganize everything once again but for now this is this drawer I don't know if you guys can see like the top that much but I put all of the stuff that was in, put all the stuff that was in this drawer this junk drawer on the top of here there's like some mascaras there's brushes there's some other products and now I'm going to go and put them in all of the correct drawers this is like a lipstick or not a lipstick a lip gloss put that in there this is another lip gloss three mascaras and a brow gel they go in here oh there's another brow gel concealer an eye cream this stuff is like a water spray. It's literally just water in a can. It's La Roche Posay. I love spraying this on my face before I do my skincare because a lot of people say you're supposed to get your face wet before applying like niacinamide, I think. Niacinamide's supposed to be hydrating, but you're supposed to get your face wet before you put it on so it can like lock in the water as moisture. And then also like before moisturizer, uh, like actual moisturizer, I'll spray this. It's just like a good little like refresher. I'll put that in this like face drawer with my setting sprays. I have another setting spray. This is like a lot of stuff. A hefty amount of makeup and products that I'm getting rid of. I'm so proud of myself. Should I do a different angle? Are you guys sick of the um, angle where it's just above? I feel like that's the most good. I feel like that's the best angle just because then you guys can actually see everything and I feel like these videos are super satisfying just to like watch me like fast pace organize everything. But I don't know. Maybe you guys want to talk to me. This one really isn't that bad. I don't know. I don't know what to keep or what. <laughs> 
<sighs> I feel like this is definitely old. I don't know if powdered products really expire. I mean, they definitely do, but I feel like liquid products and cream products you have to be more careful about. I feel like if you put like expired product, pro product, okay, powder product on your face, it's not gonna do anything. This just like smells weird. Like I feel like you can smell when makeup's old. I feel like it's not, don't actually go by the expiration date because it'll literally tell you that you have like three months to use the mascara and it's like, no. Like if it's not dried out, I'm gonna keep using it. But if it's like been a while, it literally starts to smell. It's disgusting if you're using expired makeup on your face which i'm not like i i haven't been i don't think i'm definitely using some but like all the products that i just threw away i haven't touched in like a year but like if your makeup smells bad if it doesn't smell fresh you need new makeup i hate to say that because makeup's expensive and it's like if you buy a product you want to use all of it regardless of how long you've had it putting expired makeup on your face cannot be good for you probably not could cause breakouts and other stuff so just be careful and also this is a good time for me to teach you guys my lessons stop spending your money on a million different products that you see online i know that i literally try to sell you guys products a lot like i either do sponsorships and i'm like guys you need to go get this product or i just recommend like my own favorite products sponsor free like i'm not being paid but i just promote products all the time because i feel like you guys look to me for advice but i'm not kidding stop spending your money on products only get a product if you don't already have a product like it like if you have 64 cream blushes what are you gonna do with all of them right like have one or two or three and then once you go through through those ones then you can buy new ones where I got sucked into like oh let me get all of like the most popular trendy products and now I have a million of everything I never go through everything so everything expires and I'm wasting my money so learn from my mistakes here and don't look at this like oh my gosh she has so much makeup and skincare I wish I could be her no because I wasted all of my money on all of this stuff that I'm not even using so be smarter than me curate a good collection of skincare and makeup and use every single product that you get and if you don't don't buy it you know what I mean Anyways, um, I definitely have like a bunch of old powders and stuff that I just don't really touch. Oh, it's actually a really pretty palette that I've literally never used. I think that this got gifted to me though, not gonna lie. Or it was in like my Ipsy or something. I don't think I bought this. I just know I look so stupid right now. Why is my posture like, <laughs> I'm tired of this. Shit, I don't even want that. I don't even know what it is. This is like gone. I don't know, this is still kind of not very organized. I didn't get rid of a whole bunch of products from here, but I got rid of some. Feels better, looks a little bit better. Moving on to the last drawer that I'm gonna attack today. This is my eyeshadow palette drawer, and these are both PR. This is PR skincare, and this is PR like body and hair care. So for this video, this is gonna be the last drawer that I take care of. I have so many eyeshadow palettes, and I don't even use eyeshadow that often, and it's just so stupid. But I don't wanna get rid of them, necessarily. There's a few that I might, like I never know when I'm gonna need that sparkly orange eyeshadow. Like these are gorgeous, those are gorgeous. I don't know. I have a hard time with eyeshadow palettes. This one kind of sucks. I'm not gonna lie. I might get rid of this one This is probably my oldest eyeshadow palette Like I'm not even kidding probably got this in sixth grade and I'm definitely gonna get rid of this because there's no way that these are safe to use Too Faced chocolate bar palette. This is so pretty This one doesn't fit standing upright. It doesn't close and this one I use a lot So I'm just gonna leave that there. I have two like liquid eyeshadow things I'll just put those here in the front. I also have this like eyeshadow tape stuff and I hate how it never stays like rolled up I used to have like a little hair elastic on here that would kind of keep it from unrolling I'm gonna put one back on here this is actually so much stuff. I'm gonna sort of clean off the top of this. There's some stuff still in my makeup bag that I can like put away where it needs to go. And then there's like some garbage and stuff. Okay, and I think it's pretty cleared off. I definitely could wipe down the top of this, but I don't really feel like it. I guess I will because I should.
Alright guys, I guess I'm done. I was fully intending on this taking two days. Like I was like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to film this entire video and do all of this in one day. Let alone like two and a half hours. I did all of this in less than two and a half hours and I took a few breaks like to go on my phone and stuff. But I got all of the drawers, you know, minimized. I feel like I decluttered. I got rid of a lot of stuff. Minus the three drawers that contain PR stuff. That's going to be a journey for another day. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love these cleaning, organizing decluttering videos so much. There's definitely gonna be a lot more um, before I move. I want to go through all of my clothes and get rid of a bunch. I want to go through like my bathroom stuff and maybe I'll do like a PR one as well. So much decluttering. It feels so good to get rid of stuff that has just been taking up space in your life that you don't need. I feel like this was decently successful. I feel like you guys can't tell like how much is actually in here. Like this is a lot of products. There's empty stuff. There's old stuff. There's expired stuff. There's so much in here. I'm proud of myself. I feel like the drawers look so much better and I want to really figure out a good means of organization once I move. A lot of the containers and stuff you see in these drawers, they're all like niche match. I have like old iPhone boxes that I'm storing stuff in. I would love to get like clear acrylic containers that are all the same style and the same, not same size, but you know, that just all look the same. And I would like to put those in all of the drawers so that everything can be like super organized. But for now, I'm working with what I have. Have. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you and I will see you next Sunday. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. I have a lot of you guys watching. It's like 50% of you that are watching aren't subscribed. What are we doing guys? What are we doing? I hate begging you to subscribe, but if you enjoy my videos, subscribe, turn on the post notifications so that you don't miss them. I love having you here. I seriously appreciate each and every single one of you watching. Yeah, we can be friends if you, if you subscribe and you watch all my videos. <laughs> I'm kidding. You don't have to watch all my videos, but I would appreciate it. Okay, I love you. Bye-bye.